okay you notice that we're starting AutoCAD up with nothing um, what I'm going to do is create a new document we're going to be placing all the work that we did previously into the page setup that we're actually going to create as well this basically sets everything up and an easy way to sort of add new sheets to a document um, first of all new I'm going to open up a, uh, a template but again the same one I used last time which is the um, where is it AutoCAD Disco okay um, open Now what you will notice though is we're going to start, we're going to just open this up in 2D drafting mode. You notice the layouts down here, there are two of them, one and two. Now, like last time, I'm just going to delete them. Okay, and again layout, layout one, delete. You'll notice it will automatically add a sheet to it because these come with model space and also sheet layouts. Now again for this exercise I'm just going to um, leave that as is but I need to modify this sheet, I need to set it up to the page size that I'm going to be using. As you remember we are going to be using an A3 page so what you need to do is right hand click on the tab down here and go up into here and say uh, page setup manager now again the page that we're going to modify is the layout one and we just click on modify now again this looks very very similar to the print dialog or the plot dialog box and again same options do apply so first of all we're going to use create as a PDF down here it says paper size we need A3 um, and at this point in time I'm not going to worry too much about this plot to you window etc etc I'm just going to leave that one the same scaling down here is important now again scale 1 to 1000 I'd like to do 1 to 1 I mean I need it to see as just a page that has no scales applied so 1 millimeter equals one unit. Down here it says scale line weights. You can leave that clicked or not. The rest of this we're not going to change at this point in time. Uh, we'll do that after we've done this. Keep as is. Click OK. Click close. And you'll notice here your page size. And remember before it was a small A4. The new sheet size is an A3 so it definitely is going to be bigger now all I need to do okay we need to select the viewport I'm going to delete it this because we don't need it at this point in time and we're going to pull in and place the template that we've just done okay first I'm actually just going to open up the previous document we did see the template document there you'll see it will come up in here for us to be able to look at this and manage this by just simply dragging across from one to the other. I need to get two up, so I've switched to view. Click on two two vertical tiles. Once you've got these two pages set up, all you really need to do is make sure it's positioned correctly. Select the job that you want to actually, or the the lines that you want to copy across. Select them like that. Pick it up and drag it. You'll find that it will actually, you'll be able to see the size in which it's going to be placed on the page. Because we didn't scale it, it's going to do it one to one. And when you release it, it basically will copy that onto the new page. You can minimize that, maximize that. And now we're in this particular mode here. And as you can see, there's our sheet there. Now, you notice that it is doing it in color. What I'm going to do now is I'm just going to go back into those page settings and just um, tweak them a little bit more so that we can get a, a better view of what we need. Now, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to select this to monochrome and 
when it's got it here plot with plot stars plot with paper space last now I'm going to just turn that one off and I'm just going to keep plot with stars on when you click on the preview here it will give us an idea of what it should look like and if you notice it it is weighted and you'll find that it's pretty much the page ready to go again you'll notice these things here on my, on my drawing because I'm using the education version you will have that watermark appearing on each of your page close it off and that's pretty much what we want to see display plot styles will then apply it to the page that I'm looking at so click OK and close and now you'll see it go from black and white or color to black and white and again you notice the lines aren't thick because we actually have told it not to okay. now that's the end of this um, you notice on your model space there is nothing here and we haven't applied model space we will do that next um, but at this point in time this dob is pretty much ready to go and again I'm going to save this so save document and for this one I'm just going to put it in my build files again you see template block there I'm going to call this one template title because I want to know that I want this one to be my title drawing and then we're just going to go save thanks very much